Vein Miner, also known these days as Or Excavation. That's kind of the continuation of the Vein Miner mod. It's awesome. It allows you to easily, super easily, mine a vein of blocks by literally just holding one key and mining one block. It's super simple, and honestly, it's one of the coolest kind of convenience mods for Minecraft. And luckily, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get it. So let's jump on into it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. When you go to that link, it'll take you here. This is our website, which is an in-depth guide on getting ore excavation. We're going to go over everything in this video, but we do have this text tutorial, should you want to go through it at your own pace. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow download ore excavation button. By the way, ore excavation is the exact Exact same as a vein miner, it's just updated, right? As we can see, this is updated to 1.19. Vein miner was last updated, I believe, in Minecraft 1.12. So it's very outdated. This is how you can get vein miner in the modern game. Nonetheless, once we're here on the download page, we want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down to the Minecraft 1.19 section, and click on the orange download button that is on the right side of that. Now we just wait for this download, but again, while we're waiting on that, how about us from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love Apex so much that we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting, and on top of that, they have 24-hour, 7-day-a-week support, so should you have any issues, they are there to help. Lastly, if you want to play mods or plugins on your server, Apex supports both with ease, with over 200 mod packs that have one-click installation. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown xyz slash apex to start your server as we can see here or excavation has started downloading in the bottom left of google chrome it may also download in the center of your screen on mozilla firefox now you may need to keep it in google chrome in the bottom left or save it on firefox it's 100 percent safe to do that this mod has over 61 million downloads at the time i'm recording this so it's safe. Now from there, we're still not done. We need to download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that basically links Vein Miner or Excavation to Minecraft, right? It kind of sits in the middle and links those together. So in order to do that, we need to download it and obviously install it. So let's do it. So the first thing we want to do is go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our Forge in-depth guide for getting Forge. We go over the basics in this video, but if you have any issues, you want something more in-depth, that's where this Forge guide comes in. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the green Download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official website. Now, once you're here, you wanna make sure 1.19 is selected. And as you can see, it's not. It says MC118 here. So we wanna come over here to the left-hand side, click on 1.19, and then click on 1.19 again. Then as we can see, MC119 is selected, so we can come under Download Latest and click on Installer. After that, we'll be taken off to Add Focus. We're stopped, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click it. Stop. Don't click a single thing on this page. All you want to do is wait about 10 seconds. And then after about 10 seconds in the top right, this red skip button will appear. Click on this red skip button and the download will begin in the bottom left, as you can see on Google Chrome or the server screen on Firefox. As long as Forge is in the title, which it is for us, as you can see, you're good to keep the file or save it on Firefox. But again, the only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. And when you do, the download will begin. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to go ahead and move or excavation slash pain miner, same thing, to our desktop, as well as Forge. To do that, you want to click on the little Windows icons on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open this up, and there's Forge and or Excavation. Let's drag and drop these to our desktop. Now, to get started, we're going to use Forge here. Now, to do that, right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or my icons are weird. They don't look like yours. Well, in either of those cases, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required in order to run Minecraft mods like Or Excavation in Minecraft 1.19. So come here, go through this in-depth guide on getting Java 17. It goes through everything you need to know to get Java 17. And then once you've done that, you should be able to open up Forge. However, if you still can't, or if your icons are still broken, you need to run the jar fix. The jar fix takes all the jar files on your computer and links them back to Java, linking them together and making them work happily together. So you can find this in the description down below. Java 17 and the jar fix both might be needed, but you will need Java 17 no matter what if you cannot open up Forge. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. This is going to open up the mod system install for Forge where all we need to do is click on install client and click OK. Now it's going to go ahead and install Forge for Minecraft 119. The only reason that this might not work is that if you've never played Minecraft 1.19 before, that's the case, go play it, just open it to the Minecraft main menu and close out of it. Or if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open, if either of those are open, this won't work either. So make sure those are closed. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and as you can see, successfully install client profile Forge. Awesome. Go ahead and click OK. It will close out of that. And now we can delete Forge from our desktop because 
Forge's install. Now, let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we can see for me, the Forge installation is already selected. And most importantly, it also says 119-Forge under it. If that's the same for you, click play and click play again and skip forward in this tutorial by clicking the uh, right arrow a few times. However, if you don't have Forge here or don't have 119-Forge here, you want to come up here to installations. Then you want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we unchecked modded and that disappears. Check modded, there it is. But if you still don't have Forge here, go ahead and click on new installation. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Forge 119. And then we want to click on this version drop down box. When we do that, we want to select here release 119-Forge. As you can see, Right there it is, release 119-Forge. You may have to scroll to find yours, but mine's right here at the top. Once you've got that selected, you can click Create, but I am changing my resolution so we can see what we get in game. Click Create in the bottom right, and now we have this Forge 119 profile that has 119-Forge as the version. Hover over this, click Play, and click Play again. That's the hardest part of installing or excavation, by the way. From here, it's going to be super easy. You're going to be that's all I needed to do to get Vein Miner? Yeah, from this point, it is very, very simple. It's literally some dragging and dropping, along with a few clicks. The first click that we need to do is going to be from the Minecraft main menu. So here we are, click on Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that was from the Minecraft main menu. Click the Mods button, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That'll open up our Mods folder. And now, just take or Excavation and drag and drop it into your Mods folder, right like so. When you do that, it's installed. We can go ahead and close out of the Mods folder, and then click Done and quit Minecraft. That's because we need to restart Minecraft with Forge in order for this to install. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here and make sure that our Forge installation is selected. You can see mine's auto-selected. Yours most likely will be too, but if it's not, you can select it by clicking the arrow and selecting it from this list. Nevertheless, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft 119 will open up with the ore excavation slash vein miner. They do the exact same thing, mod installed. Now here we are, we can click mods and there is ore excavation. Now, one thing I want to do is go into Options, Controls, Keybinds. Then once we go into Options, Controls, Keybinds, scroll to the very, very bottom, and here's your or Excavation Keybinds. By default, it is R for basically using excavation, B for changing the shape slash edit, and the toggle shape is V. So R, B, V right there. Let's then go ahead and jump in to our single player world here, where we're going to show this off. We're going to show you Vein Miner in action. So let's load on in. And once we're in game, we can find some ores like this. Hold down R and click. And boom, it mined all of those with just one, basically, block being mined. Now, what was that excavation shape? Well, that's where pressing V comes in. And as you can see, it kind of lets us start selecting the shape of this. Now. It's kind of weird. However, if we come over here and press R, it suddenly has this ability to mine out so much more. If we want a 5x5, press R, press it, and then there we go. I mean, look at that. One of the cool things, though, is you can just turn this off and it will allow you to just do this normally. For example, if we hit R on this, it's going to activate as much stone as it can in that area. If we go ahead and just want all of these, press R, and there you go. This does work on other ores as well, like this... Uh, or iron there. Boom. Grabbed those. But yeah, very, very cool. V is how we're going to be able to change these. I'm curious what stair up does. Let's go ahead and uh, and uh, and see how this works here. Whoa, look at that. Okay, now that is actually really cool. Super simple way to make stairs. I love it. Anyway, that is how you can use the or excavation mod. R is how you're going to be able to activate it. V is how you're going to be able to go through these different modes and shapes and all that stuff. And then last but not least, none is how you can press R and get the ores, right? So that's how you can do that if you just want to get ores instead of excavating everything else around it like we were doing. Nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.